Howdy y'all, welcome out. We are here at Six Flags America. It is a special day because it is the opening day of their brand new refurbished land, formerly known as Coyote Creek. It is now called Steamtown with a refurbished rapids ride, a brand new flat ride, along with refurbished bumper cars and a refurbished roller coaster. What used to be the Mind Eraser is now called Skywinder. The coaster's got a long name, but I'm just gonna call it the Skywinder, but we're in our best suit for the momentous occasion of the brand new land that just opened up. So let's go ahead and go check out Steamtown, y'all, and let's go get our first reactions. Well, look at this. First of all, I love the color of the paint. Look at this all re-themed, man. Look at all the repaint. Amazing, guys. Oh my gosh. We got a tractor right here. Look at this, finally seeing the new ride for the first time. It looks down right now, but still it looks absolutely looks phenomenal. phenomenal. Look at this, a nebula here. Look at the sign too. And we are the first Six Flags Park to get a nebula up and running too. <laughs> yeah, because the other one at Fiesta Texas is still in a construction, but look at this. Personally, I wish there was an awning to go over here, but other than that, this looks great. I love all the fog. This looks really cool. It's funny, those are normally used for Fry Fest too. We got some cubbies. Ooh, and the cubbies look themed too. This looks sick. Look at the oh, look at the theming over here, y'all. Wow. This is awesome. Yeah, they've done a lot of work to this ride. This is insane. This looks really nice, y'all. Oh my gosh. I just now turned around. Look at all the pipe work over here. It literally is like if you if you took the the screen punks theme with with mid with with western flair. It's so cool. Look at this thing. That's so dope. Look at all the pipe work here. I haven't even gotten to the other main attractions which are in the back here, which I'm excited for. Look at this. I'm Ooh, I like it all the we got some gear clocks here too. Gadgets and gizmos. Normally this is a haunted attraction, so I wonder if this will still be a haunted attraction during Fry Fest. But uh this is awesome. Look at oh it goes there's even more. That's cool. Oh look, look, look at the saloon. It's now Yeah, Filament Steam Pub. Let's go take a look at this Let's real quick. Go. Let's go take a look at the, the, the new location. It feels so good to be back in here again, and it looks really nice in here still. Look at this. Yeah, this is wow. nice. Oh, I like the, the little clock design out yeah, here. That's Look, you can still get food. This is solid. How did, Kales, how it feel, good does it, it feel to great. be back it in here amazing. again? It feels amazing. This is awesome. We'll come back here and get some food in just a second, but let's go finish looking at all the other stuff. Now look at this monstrosity here. It is a big dino. Oh, and it moves. That's so dope. Look, there's another one down there. Oh man, there's a bunch of dinos on here. This wheel is having fun over here. Oh my gosh, it's up here too. <laughs> Look at this. I'm excited, I'm in a suit and I'm gonna do a rapids ride. I'm crazy, but I don't care. This looks so cool. Looks like they fully enclosed their bumper cars. It's called Electro Derby. Now, I love that sign, actually. Whoa, I love that's cool. So the queue is so awesome. Wow, that's insane. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It is fully inside? lit inside. That looks so, oh, and there's fog too. Holy smokes. We'll get each of our reactions when we actually do the rides. Yeah. But this is just our first reaction, just from what we're seeing. But obviously we've seen the rapids, which look at that outside of the facade, looks awesome. We but have one more thing could, to see. We could not talk about Steamtown without talking about <laughs> Skywinder. Look at this beauty. Guys, it's, I have I was in the commercial for it. I've already wrote it. It's amazing. This is awesome. I am in love with this red. It is so gorgeous. Wow. Absolutely oh gorgeous. Down there instead of up here. Oh yeah, the sign is right there in front. We'll go take a look at it more in just a second. This is just awesome. Here's kind of the back side. Got Ooh, some more dinos. Got more dinos back there. Look, there's a pterodactyl. I see him. Incredible. All right, I think it's time to go take a ride on Skywinder. Yes.
That has got to be one of the greatest improvements to a Vekoma SLC that I've experienced. This is really good, y'all. Obviously, it's still a Vekoma SLC. Yeah. There is some shakes, especially the first inline twist. You'll feel it. But besides that, you can actually tell that they've reprofiled a lot of this. It's actually pretty smooth. In my opinion, it's right around, if not a little bit less, than the Great Nor'easter. It's in terms of smoothness. Oh yeah, definitely. It's nice, y'all. It's an amazing ride. It's, it's, it's a much improvement. It's really good, it's really fun. It's an SLC, so like I said, it's not gonna be the most extraordinary thing out there, but I'm really glad that this is the path that Six Flags America took, and it just it just helps it much more. But besides all that, all the, the color scheme is just absolutely gorgeous. There's some stuff in the station. I like the sign right here. It's just an overall incredible enhancement that I'm so glad they did. Once again, this is an SLC, so I'm not saying this is the best ride ever, and my mind is still scrambled after I ride this thing, but it is awesome. So far, after the three rows, I think back row is still my favorite on this. It's definitely the most intense, but it's also the most re-rideable for me. Front row is also really good too, but still, great improvement, yes. incredible. I, yeah, I'm a happy camper, y'all. I'm so glad that SFA did this, and it's just a lot of fun now. So Six Flags is not really known for its food, but Six Flags America has some hidden gems. Chop Six is really good here. Heritage Food Court has some cool Alfredo. But this, I have never seen before, and this looks extremely <laughs> unique. This is a stuffed turkey leg. Holy smokes, it looks good. I, and there's multiple different things you can choose. I chose the pulled pork. You can either get it with what Kaylee got, which is the broccoli and cheese and bacon. bacon. Which, how you, what are you liking over here? Are you it's liking so it? It's so good. I've and only it, tried the broccoli so far, but it's good. And either that or you can get a chicken alfredo. And the side that I got, I got potato salad. You can get mac and cheese. There's a bunch of other sides as well. Now, if you're not feeling up for this, they have the typical fried chicken or chicken tenders, which is the typical Tyson chicken tenders that you can find at Six Flags Park. So this is definitely the unique item on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this right here. There's a nice chunk of pulled pork. Cheers, my friends. Oh my God. That's solid. I like the sauce with it too. So let's see if I can get a little bit. Oh, there we go. So I got some of the, the turkey. Let's add it with the pork. Watch oh, hot. Woo. This is a lot to eat. And it is on the meal plan too. But this is awesome. And this actually, I'm really glad now that I got the potato salad to go with them. Mmm. Ooh, I really like the mustard with the potato salad. That's actually, this works, hold up. Now I gotta, sorry, this is a Southern thing. All right, so I got my turkey leg, I got my pork, but now I gotta grab the potato salad. Cheers, mates. Out of all the Six Flags parks that I've been to, I think Six Flags America has the most underrated food. They have the best chop six I've ever been I've, out of all the parks that I've tried it out. Heritage House, decent Alfredo, but this is this is not bad. It's not the most extraordinary barbecue you've ever had. It is just typical pulled pork with the sauce, but the uniqueness, along with the fact that the turkey leg is actually smoked pretty good and the really good potato salad, I actually cannot tell if that's a typical potato salad or if that was house made. I can tell you It's right still now. really good. I can tell you right now. Kelly's gonna go for it. Because I love potato salad, so I can tell. The mustard hits in a really good way. Holy cow, that's really good. Don't sleep on the potato salad here, y'all. Holy smokes. No, it's really I good. Gotta, I gotta do the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is really good. That is, man. What is this? I don't know. What Wait, is that smoke? I, sm I taste like bacon in there. They might be, yeah. I taste bacon. All right, let's 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 have some broccoli right here. That is so unique. Mhm. Mm 
I've never heard of any park doing a loaded turkey leg before in my life. It's like stuffed. It literally is. If you look closely, you can see they split it open. It's and like then they add it on the potato. inside. It's like, it's exactly like a loaded baked potato, but, it, but on a but turkey leg. It and it, it's insane. It's still absurd in my opinion. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Let's check out the new quantum. Holy smokes, y'all. Look, look at electro cars. That's so dope. Electro Derby is complete. Wow. I like the concept. It's completely indoors now. There's a lot of cool lighting effects. There's some smoke effects. A um, couple things though. One, I hope that they add some fans or air conditioning because holy smokes. Yeah, it was hot. We're here on nearly a 100 degree day and it is even worse inside there. The ride itself was fun though. I love that they took out the median and there's a lot of fun with the bumper cars and it feels better once the ride's actually motion. Yeah. The second thing that I personally would love to have happen if there was some audio in there. It is really quiet. It's just the lights, there's a cool it's backdrop painting, and then there's some fog effects. But it would be really cool if they could add some audio, some music to really yeah. make it more intense. So just besides those two things, that's still really cool. I mean, that, yeah, that's a lot of fun. It's but a lot of fun. Now we gotta go do Quantum Rapids. Look at this thing, this looks so cool. Quantum Canyon Rapids is complete. And it's a fun rapids. It's done by Hopkins. So it's not as crazy as the Intamin Rapids rides. Still a lot of rapids rides. Unfortunately with us though, we only got like a light one to a light two yeah, on the wetness it was scale. A very light. So in my honest opinion, this ride could really benefit from a waterfall, especially in the tunnel. In the tunnel, that would be great. But that aside, I love all the dinosaur animatronics that are on this ride. Oh. There is a bunch of them. And I get, and it's just, it's so much fun. There's even a baby. Yeah, there was one with, with like a little egg. baby nest and it was so cute. They're the same exact ones that, uh, I think they're made by the same manufacturer that did Dinosaurs Alive. Cause they had the similar sensors where you go by and it triggers the dinosaur to make the, the movements and stuff like that. It very much gives me Dinosaur Alive, alive moments. And I like that. I overall like what they've done with Quantum Rapids. It's really cool. So yeah, this is really, really cool. The only way, I only wish I got a little bit more while on the ride, but I love the yeah, extra I stuff agree. that they did to it, it. This ride's a hit, hit or miss when it comes to getting wet. So that's but, the only unfortunate part. Yeah, but those dinos. Those dinos are awesome though. I definitely agree. So unfortunately it looks like no steam whirler today, but that's okay. We'll definitely come back next time to check it out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Either way, still looks really cool. And uh, I really like Nebulas. I know a lot of people are really thrown off at the fact that they're not intense thrill rides. They're definitely family rides. They are. But they're still really fun for the most part. So all a bunch of good stuff. Also, I love the theming. I do miss my trees, but I love the theming. And I just overall, yeah, this is, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. The fuck? Drinks on man! Oh. My. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it here for checking out the new steam town here at Six Flags America. It was phenomenal. It's awesome. So all the new for 2024 attractions at Six Flags are now open. Rip Curl opened with the water park back in Memorial Day weekend. Yep. And now Steamtown has officially opened with the new and improved Skywinder. Steam Whirler looks phenomenal, but it's not open just yet, but hopefully it'll be open soon. We can give it a ride. Uh, Quantum Rapids is awesome. I love that. That is really cool with all the dinosaurs and all the, the theming. Those look so cool. Really cool. And then of course, I like what they did with the bumper cars, despite the fact that woo, it's hot. It's hot it's there. Hot. But the new food was really cool too. Just everything, everything. I really like what they did, and I hope yeah. that in more investment that they add to the parks in the near future, they can do that to the rest of the areas of the park because that is really, really nice. I agree. What they did to this land is phenomenal and it still remains to be my favorite land in the entire park. I agree. It is definitely my favorite land in the park as well. Besides maybe the little area over by Chop 6 with the uh, with the patio and the shading yeah. there with the trees. That's really awesome as well. But uh, yeah, no, I'm really glad. I'm really glad they did this. So this is a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, you might as well give this a big old thumbs up. That helps the channel out greatly. And you might as well hit subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, Roller Coaster Fanatics, keep, keep coasting. coasting.